Hi friends, welcome to JSM Mass Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the fourth problem of exercise 5.2 that is of quadratic equations. Let us start with the question. See this. The altitude of right angle triangle is 7 less than to the its beds if hypotenuse is 13 centimeters then find the other two sides. See, after reading this question you should understand that altitude is depends upon the base that means if you know the value of base then we can find out the value of altitude so in order to find out the remaining two sides of triangle we have to suppose that base as a x units or else x centimeters we can suppose as a x centimeters if base is x centimeters and altitude is nothing but height height is 7 less than to the base that means base is x centimeters and height is 7 less than to the base means then height is equal to x minus 7 centimeters and they have given that hypotenuse is given as 13 centimeters then if you observe that if you observe a right angle triangle in which base is x centimeters and height is x minus 7 centimeters and hypotenuse is 13 centimeters. By using a Pythagoras theorem, we can write a hypotenuse square that is 13 square can be written as base square plus height square. That means what is base square here? x square plus height square that is x minus 7 whole square. Now 13 square is 169, then x square I am using this. I am going to expand this by using a minus b whole square formula. From that, we can write as an x square plus 49 minus 14x. Now, after simplifying this, we get as an 2x square minus 14x plus 49 is equal to 169. And transporting this 169 to other kind, then we can write it as an 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 is equal to 0. From this we can write it as an 2x square minus 14x and minus 120 is equal to 0. Then we can take a 2 as a common then after taking 2 as a common then we can write it as an x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 and after transporting this 2 to other hand it becomes 0 by 2 that means 0 itself that means this can be written as x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now this equation if you factorize this equation by using splitting middle term method you will get the roots of this equation that roots are the, are the values of base. So by using splitting middle term method this minus 7x can be written as minus 12x plus 5x minus 60 is equal to 0. Then in this here we have four terms in this four terms first two terms are one group and remaining two terms are another group from the first group we can take x as a common so that we get x of x minus 2 from the second group we can take x phi as a common so that we get as an phi of x minus 12 is equal to 0 then now if you observe this from this also we can take x minus 12 as a common. From this we can take x minus 12 as a common. So after taking x minus 12 as a common then this can be written as x minus 12 of x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then x minus 12 of x plus 5 is equal to 0. Here product of two terms is 0 means definitely any one of them is equal to 0. That means either x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0. Then from this we can write that x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus y and if you observe that we consider base as a x here x we got as a negative number in this case so base that means side of the, any triangle cannot be measured in the negatives so this is negligible that means this is our uh, base that means uh, here we got a base as a x uh, as a 12 centimeters then height we get as an x minus 7 that is 
12 minus 7 that is 5 centimeters and hypotenuse hypotenuse is equal to 13 and these are the triple s Pythagoras triple x these are the famous Pythagoras triple x so that we can say these sides forms a right angle triangle so what are the required solution required sides that is 12 centimeters and 5 centimeters thank you friends for watching this video